Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. Got my crazy shirt on because we're going to create this. This is Tilt Shift Video in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, uh, first of all, uh, thanks to Jose Campos for requesting this Tilt Shift tutorial. This is for you. So what is Tilt Shift? Well, it's based on a real lens um, that you can get that tilts and shifts and moves around. And a lot of people think of this as the miniature feature or uh, makes everything look like they're tiny little ants running around on the screen. Um, so you can do this after the fact um, in Premiere Pro and you can do it pretty easy. Let's go have a look. So you can see the outside area is blurred. This is not blurred and I've sped the video up. So how do you speed things up? Right click on the clip, speed duration, and I've just changed this to 200%. So twice as fast. It looks like you can see the people running down there and then the car is moving very fast. So let's go look at our effects controls. So up here on the left, we've got uh, camera blur, and then I've added uh, a bit of noise. And the reason I've added a bit of, of noise, and really it's film grain, is because we're blurring one area out and, and that removes any grain or noise that's in your shot. So if you add grain after you blur, then the grain is now equal. It's as if you shot it with the blur in the camera. All right, I've got camera blur. That is a Windows only blur. You can use Gaussian blur just as easy. And I've added a mask. If you don't have a mask, then you're using an older version of Premiere Pro and you can't do this. Time to upgrade. All right, so I've added a mask and I've drawn the mask here. It's an elliptical mask and I've moved it around. So let me just delete that and I'll make a new one. So I'll click here and I'll invert because right now the blur is inside. So I'll invert that. And I want to follow the road, so I'm going to make it elliptical and move this in. When you move out, you see that little arrow? I'm going to rotate that a little bit. And the first thing you see is you get this hard edge. So if you grab the outside one, this is the mask feather. And you can also type in the mask feather amount over here. And you want a very generous mask feather because if we zoom in in here and look, this is the smallest area here that is in focus and the rest is out of focus. The amount of blur is, is really up to you. Um, right now I've got my blur uh, value at five and, and that's a specific camera blur setting. Um, it would be different for Gaussian blur, but you just move it until you get that right value. Uh, the noise does, this is um, noise HLS auto. And when you choose that, and again, down here in the bottom, if you just search for noise, there it is, auto. And this is the one I'm using right here, grain. And that gives me that grain. If I turn that off, you might be able to see right in this area here, it adds and just looks a little bit more accurate. All right, so let me just show you the, the differences with the, the different blurs. Uh, this is Gaussian blur, which is typical what you'd use. Channel blur and the camera blur is Windows only. You can, I, I think the camera blur and uh, uh, the channel blur look for this example, I, I think they look a little bit better. Um, and if you type channel blur, so instead of camera blur, we put channel blur, and again, we want the channel blur above it you can see there's blurriness values for each channel. So you can actually create this kind of a pseudo 3D effect, but you want them to be all the same. Okay, I just pasted in the mask and you can see, there it is. So that's channel blur. 
uh, on both Mac and Windows and then speed that up. Here's another one. This is a very famous crosswalk in uh, Japan. Same idea. Even though we're closer, uh, it still works. It's a little less of an effect when you're this close, but uh, still works fine. Same thing. Uh, this one's actually using fast blur. And I'm focused in this area right in here with a very large feather. Um, and I haven't added the noise in here uh, yet. And that is it. But there is a tilt shift effect. Same kind of tilt shift effect you'd get if you um, were actually using the camera, uh, the actual lens itself on the camera. But you can do this after the fact. Um, you, you do need to have more of an aerial shot for this to, to really work. And like I said, if you speed everything up 200%, then it works and you have this cool effect. All right. Thanks again to uh, Jose Campos uh, for uh, requesting this. We really appreciate it. Um, thanks to everyone for your wonderful support here on Video Revealed. If you're new to Video Revealed, hey, take a moment and subscribe. If you want to take it to another level, then please support us on Patreon. Something as little as $1 a month would mean a lot to me and my wife and uh, helped create and, and keep these great tutorials coming. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. It's my job to get you looking your best. Yeah.